for your presentation. Now uh, we are discussing about femoral and alternator block with Sebastian. Yes. Up to you. Uh, thank you, Alain. And uh, as uh, Olivier said, the, the knee uh, is supplied by the two plexus, a sciatic and a lumbar plexus, but the main nerve is probably the femoral nerve. And as he said, if you have to do something uh, for pain uh, therapy in postoperative period, is probably the catheter, the femoral catheter, that is the more efficient for a uh, knee analgesia. So I will not remind you the, the innovation of the of the knee, but I will show you first the anatomy of the inguinal crease, and in this uh, beautiful uh, cross section, you will re recognize the different n uh, muscles and the different uh, nerves and vessels. We will uh, I will show you uh, on the model, uh, and uh, when you recognize these different muscles, you you can find the three nerves that supply uh, the tight, and uh, some of them supply uh, the knee. So first. You have to recognize here artery and vein, and laterally the uh, femoral uh, nerve that runs on the iliopsoas muscles here. If you, and I will show you how, if you uh, slide laterally, you can follow one very important muscle here uh, that uh, Philippe will discuss about just after the sartorius muscles. And if you uh, follow laterally these muscles, and in between the sartorius and the tensor fasciae muscles, you will find uh, the lateral cutaneous nerve of the tight. And if you slide medially, you will recognize first a very um, huge uh, muscle, the pectinous muscles, and more laterally, three muscles that uh, 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 the three adductor muscles, so the um, adductor longus, the one uh, that uh, Philip will discuss about after, the adductor brevis and the adductor magnus, and in between the two branches of the um, uh, obturator nerve, and as, as uh, um, uh, Olivier said, the uh, branches that supply the, um, the knee is the posterior branch. So the second slide is a very wide view of these different muscles. I will show you uh, with uh, ultrasound. So here, artery and vein, the femoral nerve, the psoas muscles, the sartorius muscles. We follow it to find laterally the lateral cutaneous uh, nerve of the tight, and medially, the main uh, landmark is the pectinous muscles, and after that, the three uh, addu um, adductor uh, muscles with in between, or sometime in between uh, pectineus and these muscles, the obturator nerve. Just uh, one slide about anatomy of the uh, obturator nerve. The obturator nerve comes from the roots L2, L3, L4. It descends uh, through the psoas muscles and uh, exits the pelvis in the uh, obturator uh, foramen. And you can see that depending when you are looking for, for this nerve, you can find the two nerves uh, close to each other of the two nerves very far from uh, for each other. So if you are very proximal, so in there, example, this uh, picture, uh, the hay picture, the two nerves are very close to each other, but it's it in, the, um, in the pelvis, so it's impossible to perform the block at this level because it's very too proximal. But if we, uh, we put the probe in the inguinal crease, you can find two different uh, situations. One situation, the situation B, when you are very proximal, with one nerve still in between uh, adductor brevis and adductor magnus, so the posterior branch that supply the adductor magnus and, as said Olivier, um, the, the capsule of the knee. And the second one, the motor branch, uh, could be in between pectineus and abductor brevis, or like here, in between adductor longus and adductor brevis. That's why it's very important to slide up and down, to scan up and down, and to tilt just to find this is the location of this, of this branch. And sometimes you have to inject here and there, and sometimes here and there, and just to check the, the, the spread to have or not to, mobili to, to mobilize your, uh, your needle. So this one, I remind you that this one is a uh, uh, motor branch that supply adductor longus and adductor brevis, and one part of the skin, and this one is the uh, sensitive a branch that supply the knee, as uh, Olivier, and uh, and the adductor uh, magnus. About uh, indication, I will not remind that um, that the main 
nerve is clearly the femoral nerve. And the question you can ask after to to uh, to Philip in your is a chat is is it better to perform a femoral block or um, uh, adductor canal block or uh, a triangle femoral block. About the abdominal nerve block, what's the uh, indication? The first indication, if you want to perform anesthesia, it's to combine femoral, sciatic, and obturator nerve. As said, this uh, this French team they assess the three block, but it could be uh, uh, not only a three uh, three block. A, trip, a triple nerve block, but a quadruple nerve block if you add a cutaneous lateral nerve of the tight. And they, they observe that when you perform this kind of, uh, of, uh, of blocks for knee arthroscopy, you will have a, a high success rate. But you have clearly to combine these different uh, nerve blocks. For what about analgesia and obturator nerve block for analgesia? This, uh, this uh, team assess the, the efficiency of obturator nerve block for knee uh, analgesia, and they observe that when you add an obturator nerve block, you will increase the analgesia, and the, um, and you are more efficient that only uh, it was not a, a femoral nerve block but a femoral triangle uh, block. So you as you improve the the quality of analgesia. About uh, obturator nerve block, um, the only no, not the only limit, but one of the limit of this uh, nerve block is that it's clearly difficult to assess the efficiency of your uh, of your block. This is uh, actually from a French team, the team of Hervé Boisis and um, and uh, Denis Joshum, and they assess the um, the sensitive di distribution of the obturator nerve and it's difficult and it's not clear to have a real area of, s of uh, isolated supply so it's easy in upper end it's easy for the uh, for the foot but it's clearly difficult for the obturator so the probably that's the only uh, possibility to assess is the motor function but it's only the assessment of the anterior um, branches and not of the posterior branches so we did it a lot when we, we assess this uh, triple block for uh, knee arthroscopy and uh, knee replacement, and we use this uh, motor function assessment to be sure that we had a, a, well, uh, a well block of the obturator nerve. About the obturator nerve, the one of the first team uh, would describe a very uh, good uh, approach that I will show you just uh, after. It's Olivier Choquet, uh, a whole um, publication of Olivier Choquet wi wi where he assess the two injection, uh, anterior and posterior, to have the, the total blocks. So probably that's it's the end of the, of the slide. And I will go to the, to the model to show you how to perform two of them and probably uh, three of them, the lateral. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, you, 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 you don't uh, answer my question. <laughs> we still have to, depending on the time. <laughs> go, go, Sebastian. So, second quiz now. The second quiz is, is an obturator nerve block useful for total knee replacement analgesia? You have, uh, once again, uh, 10 minutes to answer uh, during the live I demonstration. Can, I can or not? Uh, I cannot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait for that. I have to wait. <laughs> I cannot give uh, my but opinion. But, but, but I can ask you a question. Yes, we can. Finally. Yes, uh, we can. Is it the same? Is it the same for you uh, to perform a, a femoral nerve catheter uh, about technique? Uh, we speak about technique or a single injection? Can you do exactly the same thing, the same approach? Uh, is it some? Uh, do you have some difference? Yes, you can. You can choose the 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 out of plane in plane is not so important. Mm -hmm. The best technique I is the one you are comfortable with. But in my daily practice, when I teach, uh, I teach the resident to perform the femoral block in plane and to follow uh, the needle under the fascia iliaca, the lateral border of the nerve for single shot injection. But when we put a catheter, I prefer them to work out of plane and just to put the catheter under the fascia iliaca, along the femoral nerve, but between three and four, five centimeters under the iliac fascia. So during the physiotherapy, when the patient flex the knee, 
uh, take the knee and uh, the hip, sorry, in the inguinal crease, the risk of withdrawal of the catheter is less. And uh, when you put your needle and your catheter in plane, I f we have observed that when only one or two centimeters of the catheter is uh, under the fascia, in some situation, the, the quality of the nerve block is not so good after a few hours. And we find the, the tip of the catheter yeah, in the subcutaneous tissue. Uh, particularly after movement. After movement, yes, after physiotherapy. Okay. Uh, second, uh, do you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm Can waiting you for you for 10 minutes. If you are ready? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. So ready. Okay. I'm waiting Go. for you. So the patient is in the supine position, and I will show you one um, the landmark, the, the artery, the femoral artery. Here is the in, uh, uh, you just have the, the the picture of the screen. So here is the inguinal crease, and so, um, the probe is clearly in the inguinal crease. It's not a good option to have um, a cross section of the tight. You have to put your your probe in the inguinal crease. If you have a cross section of the tight, most of the time you will see the division of the uh, femoral artery that is not the good location because because in this area it's difficult to find or to see the, the femoral nerve. So put your probe clearly in the inguinal crease. So the main um, the main landmark is as you can see here. There the femoral artery just uh, above the division. The uh, left hand side is the lateral part of the model and the right hand side is the medial part of the model. And if you like, if you look medially, you will find the vein and if you look laterally, you will find here above the psoas muscles the, uh, the femoral nerve just uh, under the um, fascia lata and fascia iliaca. But it's difficult to find this to or to to different to have the difference of these two different fascia, you have one one uh, uh, very uh, white line. This is a fascia, and you just have to pass through these two fascia to inject. As said Olivier, because I heard Olivier just before, there is no difference in terms of efficiency of in, in terms of risk if you use, for example, for the femoral nerve block in plane or out of plane approach. The, the only difference you will have when you use the in plane approach, you will be very tangential to the nerve, and then you can surround the nerve. But the femoral nerve is not clearly a nerve. It's already the division in different branches with uh, the sensitive uh, branches just here in the, t in the top of the on the nerve and motor branches probably more um, in the um, uh, in the bottom of the nerve. So you can, as I said, you can uh, use in plane or out of plane approach. When you use out of plane approach, most of time you will be in the different branches, and you will n it's difficult to surround the, the, this nerve. If I scan a little bit laterally, I can uh, follow the nerve I talked about just before. Here, the, the, the um, uh, sartorius muscles, and just here at the end, in between sartorius muscles and tensia fasciae muscles, you will find sometime a triangle like like there and in this triangle you will you can you can have you will have the uh, lateral cutaneous nervous tight that could be necessary for anesthesia not for analgesia but for anesthesia of the knee it's very important to do this this kind of block i slide a little bit more uh, medially so i find again the main landmark the artery and now if i slide in the inguinal crease uh, medially, I will first show the pectinous muscles here. I need more depth. Uh, yes, I need more depth to show you the free adductor muscles. So here you can see the pectinous muscles, and there the two uh, adductor mu muscles, adductor longus adductor brevis and here adductor magnus and when you slide uh, we scan up and down and when you tilt a little bit you can see a lot of small bubbles or small uh, uh, yes bubbles uh, black and white that runs in between or in the fascia in between the muscles and this is probably the obturator nerve so as i said more proximal you will be there 
uh, when you are more proximal, the nerves are close together, probably in this fascia. And when you are more distal, when you scan down, you can see that this probably branches of the optimal lateral nerve runs in between the two, the, the, the three muscles. So for these blocks, uh, well in my daily practice, I prefer to be uh, more uh, proximal and to use the out-of-plane approach just be because uh, with the in-plane approach, the path is very long and it's more painful than out-of-plane approach, but it's just uh, uh, my feeling. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's uh, true or uh, right or not, but I prefer the out-of-plane approach to inject first in this fascia or this fascia, depending on the location of these small bubbles you can see here. So in that case, I will inject first there and after that here to have the anterior and posterior branch. And if I go more uh, distally, there and there. I said with the in-plane approach, the path is very long and clearly, in my opinion, more, uh, more painful. So just to summarize, if you just want to give uh, analgesia, this nerve is probably the main nerve the to, to be performed for analgesia of the knee. When you have to perform anesthesia of the knee, you have to, to do first the, the sciatic nerve uh, block that Olivier showed you just before, and after that to combine one, two, and three blocks in the same uh, inguinal crease with one, two, and three uh, needle punctures that is more or less painful than a very long path um, of the needle. So, may I come back, please, Alain? Yeah, wonderful. Thank you, Sebastian. Wonderful. You. Uh, the result of the quiz is 83% uh, agree uh, with you need uh, an obturator nerve block uh, for analgesia after uh, TKI. So, uh, just a question, Sebastian. Uh, do you have something special to do uh, per when performing a femoral block to be sure to have constantly a saphenous nerve block? Or it's always the case. But it clearly depends when you inject and the volume you inject. Uh, as you said, the sensitive branches are probably in the in the top and probably in the top and medially. So you have to be in between, uh, close to the artery. But when you have a round uh, spread uh, between the muscles and the fascia, clearly there is no no problem with high volume. But what is high volume? 15 to 20 mils. So I didn't have any 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 problems. The only problem we have if if you inject if you don't inject in the good area, so uh, above the fascia or in the muscles. But if you are in the good area, you will have depending if you are in plane or out of plane. Out of plane, most of time I don't know your uh, your feeling, but most of time you have a round spread. And when you are uh, in plane, sometimes you clearly uh, surround the different branches, and you have this uh, this uh, first spread. Uh, on the top, and after that, sometimes that go uh, uh, just uh, under. So it depends, but clearly for me, there is two different spreads. But when you are just uh, in between muscles and fascia, there is no problem. And uh, a second question uh, from the audience Do you think sparring effect for the quadriceps muscle is more important than pain control, or uh, are you, uh, do you have some issues? Uh, with the patient uh, just uh, after performing a femoral block for TKA on the first day or is it okay for you to, to have a complete quadriceps uh, paralysis after uh, a femoral block or doesn't matter, the most important, is it pain or sparring control? So probably that uh, to have this motor block is probably one part of the analgesia in my opinion and that clearly we need to have this, uh, this paralysis or sparesia, as you said. Because it's not only knee, not only uh, bones, but probably also muscles. And as you said, we discussed just before, if you use a uh, knee embolizer, there is no problem, no limits. So in my opinion, and Olivier said that the one of the best uh, option is probably a knee catheter, and probably that's the best option, but we have to go from catheter to very distal blocks and to come back to catheter, and probably that catheter with knee immobi uh, immobilizer, uh, even in fast track uh, program, is a very, very good option. Okay, thank you. 